What is going on, people? Today, we get into some uh, different kind of stuff. So let me get my mic. Let me get... Okay. There we go. I'm, I'm just like... Have to test all this stuff. But what we're going to get into today is the disruptive economy and how you can make cash digitally. I'll tell you how I got onto this uh, subject matter. I was doing my, I did a, I did a show this weekend. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me bring that up into here. I was on my digital citizen, and I think that I'm going to. Actually, before I get into all that, let me show you something. All right. You notice how many folks are going live? Uh, this is what I've noticed with a lot of these radio channels that they will just stream for hours. And I don't know if they're playing ads, but I, I have a feeling they are. <laughs> That's crazy money. All right. So let's uh, get back into here. And all right. Digital citizen. Okay, uh, I put uh, Bitcoin, the emotional investment, because <laughs> uh, if is there a digital citizen you can get there? If you don't know how to get there, just go to um, here, Malta Egros, and this week I will be doing a joint for disruptive mail. Be looking out for that. I started to think, what was I doing, you know? Because last month I did a test of direct response marketing, very little paid traffic. I mean, in the way of paid traffic, 500 bucks. And we did $20,000. No uh, paid advertising, no funnels, just, hey, this is Glendon Cameron, you know, one to two videos a day. And I was like, okay, this works. And it's really not people coming from the text notification squad. It's not that many people. So most of you who are coming here are subscribed to the channel. Once again, you got to go by the data. You got to go by the data. And I was like, wow. So when I get like 100 or 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165 was all time high that these folks are coming from this channel and are subscribed or seeing the notifications or YouTube's pushing that out. And I was like, whoa, because um, one of the things with, let's, let's take Bitcoin and we're not going to get into Bitcoin bashing. We're, we're just use this as a representation. The big lure of Bitcoin is that you can buy some coin and it goes up in value, right? Well, and essentially, probably, let's see, two streams a day, two hours a day, 10 hours. Let's just say 50 hours for the month. 50 hours of content, the rest, direct response marketing was $20,000. 50 hours. And I was starting to say, whoa, 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 whoa. What if we do 100 hours? What if we do... 160 hours. What would that look like? What would that feel like? What would that taste like? And I was like, huh. And that was just a test. It was just a test to see how this thing goes because, you know, I have this big old goal. And I was like, hmm, we can do this because it, clearly it works. And then this month there will be the launch of some new products. Uh, today I probably don't have an offer. I'm not going to do an offer this morning. Uh, but what I will do is talk about what I'm doing and what I'm building. Cause like, you know, going back to Bitcoin, active income always kicks investment income. Now I will say this, and it's kind of funny because uh, Google took off the price of Bitcoin this one. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Because it dropped to like 7,500. 
and it is um <clears throat> uh maybe that could be it uh, let's see all right there it is so it's back but what if i really doubled down and if you saw the thumbnail it's an old television and it's an old radio and it's like what about we'll do video we'll do media because <clears throat> one of the fallacies that many people make is to get away from what they're doing that works to jump off into this other bucket of stuff because i have put myself on bitcoin bashing time out for the week i'll be back next week but this week we got to get down to business uh i had to put together a parent company for someone i got to do another one and that's a business that i'm probably going to launch i'll details to come later i'm not going to put anything out but that's something else that I can do for the community to provide value to actually help people because regardless of how many times I explain it people still like I don't understand this stuff and it's probably fear plus it is a fundamental lack of understanding because I know why I'm doing these things I'm putting these laws in there so that will be coming um, a service to establish your parent company <clears throat> your child companies and so on and so forth but the main thrust is there's a podcast that is coming. I have probably one because the thing is, I gotta, I'm, I'm really thinking about this because I don't just want to throw up a site because the thing is, and this is the, the poll, one of the podcasts is going to be called Hustles More Than a Word. That's done. But there may probably be two or three podcasts. Remember what I said about you know, I did $20,000 in 50 hours. What would 160 hours look like? And that wouldn't all be <clears throat> YouTube. That would be podcast. That would be, oh, um, I got approved for Steam it, my account. So you're going to see, you know, once I get it set up, because I just got the email this morning. But I'm going to really push on building a media company. And I don't think we've really talked about that because it's digital money. I want you to think about this. It, like, like Bitcoin, if electricity around the world shut off, Bitcoin is screwed, right? Well, guess what? So am I. All this stuff is digital. YouTube, the eBooks, the court, every last bit of it. So the uptime, you know, and I'm also thinking of building my own blockchain. But I'm asking myself, what kind of blockchain can I build that provides value? Because there's literally a hundred top ICOs and there's there, there's so many <clears throat> and most of them are going to fail. Most of them are going to fail. But there's going to be some that's going to shine because, you know, just to be clear, uh, I believe that we've entered a space but the space has much more time in it than people think because uh, I'll tell you something I saw. And I can't say it's not true, but I feel it's not true because I know a little bit about moving out of your positions because this person claims to have made all these Bitcoin trades. And just to be clear, you, you can't make a Bitcoin trade without paying fees. You can't do it. So that's one falsehood. And it was like uh, claim to make $60,000 in one day shifting between one price point to another. That is if you can exit that position at that time, which has been one of the fundamental roadblocks to Bitcoin really expanding because the transaction fees are too high. The transaction times are too long. And it was supposedly like, a 10,000 or 9,000 swing. And I'm like, that's not instantaneous. So I don't really know how true that was. But once again, there's so much um, chatter and talk about this that anyone can say anything. And that's another reason that I'm pulling myself out. I'm coming down off the ledge and I'm going to focus on building out the uh, media version of the stuff that I want to happen this week because 
um, I still got to do the YouTube course. You know, um, I, I will tell you what happened with me. Uh, at one point, I was under decision fatigue. I had so many decisions to make, and I had so many things to get off my plate, and I've gotten like 70% off of that stuff off my plate. It was ridiculous. So now I'm back to being more productive because when you have all these decisions and they're all of equal weight and equal importance, you just put your head down and go to work. So that happened. Now we're in the position where we can really, really start rolling because there's going to be probably podcasts. There's probably going to be more YouTube channels. There's going to be probably yeah, um, more audio books. Audio books seem to do really well and stuff. So there's a lot of things that I have to create. And it's all jumbled up in my mind because I'm thinking like, will this work? Will this work? Well, one, we, we did the proof positive. We tested the direct response model, something I've been telling you guys, this is what you need to do if you're beginning to make money online. Uh, once again, I was recommended by two people who make money online. I know they actually make a lot of money online and it's like affiliate marketing, except I can't this is my problem with that. For me to get off into affiliate marketing, I would have to devote a substantial amount of resources to learning how, because I don't know how to do it. I mean, I, I understand the concept, but I really don't know how to do it. So I would have to leave this, which is working and which is making money, to move over here to do something that's probably going to take some time to amp up. Financially, that makes no sense for me, none whatsoever, so I'm not going to do it. Um, we'll just keep asking. We'll keep looking for people to partner with so we can get you that affiliate marketing stuff or you can go on your own. But that's what's happening with that, because whenever you have something that's working and then you transition to something that's unproven, it gets a little bumpy. And not to say the affiliate marketing thing will not work out, um, but fundamentally, I am a creator and it doesn't jive well with my mojo. It's not, it really doesn't jive well with my mojo at all. And that's probably why you don't, you, I, I, it would be definitely be a partner move with somebody. Someone established, someone that knows how to do affiliate marketing, and that that's that. But the channels, I am probably going to create, I know this is going to sound crazy, 10 channels. And part of the reason for creating 10 channels, plus, because once again, we cannot disturb this groove here. And that's why I started a cryptocurrency channel. That's why I started a disruptive mail channel. Um, I haven't had the time to get into the political discourse, which would be at I am Cameron, because um, Trump's trying to fire Mueller. He's working on it, except this last move did not work out the way that he thought. And I'll, I will talk about that and some other issues and some other trendy topics. Plus, I'm thinking of a how to write a book channel. Because, you know, going back to my roots and, you know, start this like how to self-publish a book. Some I know how to do, it's, except I'm outside of the, the Amazon thing. But, oh, I really, really thought hard because we will get here. I mean... I've been thinking about coloring books. I've been really, really thinking about coloring books because I can draw. Yep. So I got to draw like uh, what? Mm, 30 images, 40 images. Plus, I have someone who can do certain things for me. So there's that. And just really, really build out the media company, you know, a real media company. We'll do print. We'll have uh, published books. This is why I got to create a new Amazon account because I cannot remember what account that is. And I can't even get into it. It's so funny because I think that email address is gone. But what's going to happen is we're going to have podcasts. We're going to have YouTube channels. We're going to do Steam it. We're going to get into publishing. We're going to create more courses. So it's going to be a lot of activity this year. And it's taken me a month of thought and consideration. Like, how am I going to put all this stuff together? This is kind of crazy. It's ambitious. It's big. It's bold, right? But I already know direct response works. So think about it. I've got two or three podcasts, direct response model of 10 channels, direct response model, just direct response model everywhere. 
I'm like, you know, my nipples are hard. My nipples are, I'm, I will show you, but I got two shirts on. But it's very, very exciting. So let's go in the chat room because we're going to chat this up. We're going to talk about what people, ah, let's get in here. So let's see. What's up, Johnny Walton, Kendall Vision, Lucifer, Africa, Rashida, Saranai, Daphne Jackson, Dwayne Bryant, the Sheiky Jones. That is just like a 1970s pimpology movie name. Um, let's see. Oh, well, that would help with that. All right. Short chain stack your bread. Dwayne Bryant, my weekend was great. I, who saw that game last night? W was it me or were the, were the Patriots outcoached and outplayed? What's up, Quasel? What's up, Charlene McKinney? Tanya? Yolanda? Nathan Judson? AKW Beats? Desiree Monique Harris, really easy to do affiliate marketing. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. What's up, Austin? Derek Brown. You could get really expensive coloring books from Alibaba. My wife loves adult age coloring books and we're both over 40. What's up, Rodney Steele? Charlene McKinney? This dude bakes. All right, Nathan, Justin, that's one of the things we got to work on. <laughs> Sex sales. So, uh, let's see. Uh, what was I going to address? All right. Uh, affiliate marketing is really simple and easy, right? Okay. Here's one of the things you guys have got to understand. You got to build an audience or you have to market to an audience that already exists. So let's say, you know, this channel has been built very differently and uh, how a sales course, I'm partnering with someone that would work, how to build a business, uh, the LLC, the parent company stuff, there's like virtually no one doing that. But that's for people who are very serious about putting together some businesses. Um, the affiliate marketing thing can be easy, as you said. But what I look at is how much money will that make me? Because this is the thing I have a problem with for me personally. I can't leave what I know that is working to make money to do something that's going to make less money when it's going to take the same effort. The opportunity cost is virtually the same. So to leave something that makes money to do something that makes less money and the time quote is roughly the same, uh, that, that makes no sense. <clears throat> Cause uh, you know, uh, I did an interview with uh, the deadbeat affiliate. I need to get that out. He works more than two hours a day. He's busy, busy, busy. And that's why he doesn't have time to put some stuff together. Um, plus, you know, he's got his own thing going. So it is easy, but is it worth it? Because one of the things that I consistently see with many people out here <coughs> in the space is people are making very good part-time money. I am not trying to make part-time money. I am trying to make full-time money. And that's a mindset of mine because when I look at some, like Kindle, like I've stayed away from Kindle for years because when I was in Kindle, I was making a lot of money and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go back to Kindle unless I have a good game plan, a good thing. So what I'm going to do is create Mac Daddy Publishing. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a new LLC, put it on the parent companies, and that will be the publishing arm and that will be the bank accounts because all this stuff will be separated. And that's the thing, because um, uh, coloring books, philosophy books, uh, The Disruptive Man, that's going to be a book. 
It's all up here in the cranium, and I haven't had, like, you know, this week we start on that. So I'm going to build a full-fledged publishing media company. And that's going to be my focus because dibbing and dabbing and going off on this thing, like, um, it's just not going to help. This dude, Bakes, they were definitely out coached and outplayed. That flea flicker option quarterback pass was dope. I don't, I mean, that thing worked to perfection. Because Foles, he was right there, and you knew something was going to happen. Direct hike to this dude. He pitches it this way. The dude pitches it back. The defense is flowing this way. Boop. Easy TD. I mean, and then uh, when they had that, like, those last minutes, they just, I mean, they just let Brady. Brady couldn't do anything. He threw that last Hail Mary to Gronk, and they knocked it down. They actually knocked it up in the air, which is a little scary because it would have been a heartbreak if a Patriot had ran off into the end zone with a touchdown. What's going on, Lance? Caddy Williams, what's up? Tanya Rustin, what's going on? Oh, you host your first Super Bowl? Cool. Hot song beat. Seems like most affiliate markers make money by teaching people out of the market. Hmm. Uh, Desiree Monique Harris, I think online storage auctions are garbage. I would not do one. That's just my opinion. That game was rigged. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's the whole thing. Because if I wanted to make, like, this YouTube channel, it makes... Last one for me, $930, which for most people, that's great part-time money. It really is. Plus, you know, I mean, that's what I made directly from YouTube. So I'm past that part-time money. I'll, I'll tell you, I used to work at Cobb General every other weekend. I was making 11 bucks an hour. So was it 16 hours? In my life? No, it wasn't 16 hours of my life. It was 20 hours of my life, 40 hours, you know, for the month because it was every other weekend and I made less than 300 bucks. I think, um, yeah, I made 130, 140, I made $280 a month for literally 40 hours of my life. Now, this was a long time ago. Now, one of the financial alchemy things that I can do today is I can make that same money in an hour. And I look at that because, you know, my mindset was so different back then. It was like, you know, get a part-time job, PRN, work full-time, do double shifts and stuff. And I've completely come out of that. But one of the big reasons that so many folks struggle to make money is a lack of vision. And your vision can only be big as your perspective and your perspective can only be as big as your actions. So I was doing, I was working very, very hard, but I was doing a lot of <clears throat> low hustle activity. <clears throat> I mean, seriously, it was just really, really a lot of low hustle activity, low expectations, really wasn't aiming high. It was just, but then again, I, I didn't have the understanding. I didn't have the tools that I have today. Because uh, how many of you watch Fresh Out Prison Talk with Big Herc? And I was, I'm kind of addicted to the channel because just listening to these stories and hearing these things. And in the time that I, you know, went from like 1997, 98, 99, next year is going to be 20 years that I have emerged from that situation. You got folks who were giving up 8, 9, 10, 12, 15. Sitting somewhere, doing nothing, regressing, and I'm just looking at that time because this 20-year mark has been so pivotal in my life. Because do you know that the average man, best peak earning years are from like 28 to about 45. That's where most folks, that's where they make their most money. And then if you'll see it. With a lot of the people who are like 50, the minute that they come out of that employed situation and they have to go back in, they used to go back in at a lower income. 
So you're older, you're more fixed in your ways, and then your money starts to get funny. Then your investments, you start to, I mean, I've just, I've been watching this stuff. Uh, people who are using their investment money to live on well before they're able to retire. And I, I look at that and I was like, that is like really, really crazy. But it's true and it's factual. What's up, Exodus? Rockstone Glenn, and I see being fluid and unvarnished is a core strength that would draw new subscribers as the reality of the economy hits. Blackberry HP missed it because they ate good for so long. Yeah, because I, I got to keep this channel focused on building businesses. I cannot dilute the content. I can't go into this other stuff. And I've seen the results of just, you know, being about that core thing and then starting new YouTube channels. The way Brian every Super Bowl has to end with some kind of epic proportions of controversial ending. It wasn't controversial. It was kind of epic. Pamela C. This more this live stream is better than pancakes in the morning. Appreciate you. What's up, Melissa? Vegas through the game. Brady got a nice bonus. <laughs> you know, I enjoyed the game. Uh, you conspiracy theorist. I don't know about that, but I really enjoyed the game. Because it, it, it wasn't a boring game. It wasn't a lopsided game. They were, they were getting it. They were getting it. So for me, it was really good. But getting to building this media company and digital money, like how many of you raise your hand and put in the comments are invested in Bitcoin or altcoins and stuff? And I'm going to ask you a real serious question for the ones who are invested in that. Okay, you ready? How much money are you really making? Because this is one of the reasons that I've kind of pulled back because I've listened to even Dead Beat Affiliate said it. Corey, um, damn, what's his name? I can't even remember. He said it. Everybody, Grant Cardone said it. Everyone that knows has figured out how to make better than average money, let's put it that way, has come down with the same opinions of Bitcoin. Yet people who have no money, or work or you know because this one guy he stayed home from work and he made sixty thousand dollars now let's look at that he stayed home from work and he made sixty thousand dollars in a day call me crazy but if even just for a few months if i can make 60 grand a day why would i go to work I mean, you make 60 grand, that's enough money for you to quit your job and go all in. So th there was a lot of things about that. But when you get down to it, Bitcoin without trading, because if you're a trader, that's a totally different ballgame. But if you're an investor, you buy, you hold. That's the goal is to buy as much as possible and hold it, right? And hope it appreciates. But if you're a trader, you've got to exit these positions and enter these positions and stuff. But with the price of Bitcoin, which is still, if you got in early, if you got in like early last year and bought at a thousand, you're still up five, six grand. And if you held on, you're still good. Uh, but here's the thing. Even at a thousand dollars, how many Bitcoins can people buy? If you're of average income, which is 70% of the country is at average income, you can buy two, three, four. Five. And oh, did you know credit card companies have banned the purchase of Bitcoin on, on credit card companies? All these. They know what people are going to do. They like folks are going to because this is the thing. Folks will go ahead and charge their credit card up. And then when they take these losses, they're not going to pay the credit card and they go file bankruptcy. So that, that's just funny. Joe Augustine, what's the discount code? <laughs> what are you talking about? Eric and Nicole, stay the way years ago, stay in the way now. Johnny Walton not invested. I don't understand Bitcoin. It's a lot to understand. Discount pancakes and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Rashida Hodge, you can discuss income growth after a certain age. I'm 40 now. Listen to your channel, considering more things. How do you stay ahead of the ageism hurdles? Staying fresh and growing. You must have your own business. 
if you have a job, the ageism thing is going to catch up with you sooner or later unless you are just high up or you're an indispensable member. You let's see, if I had stayed in Northside, I wouldn't think the way that I do. That's one. Two, I started there in 91, 2001. So I would be kind of entering, I don't know. I don't know if I could have retired. What's up, Zola? <laughs> Charlotte. FBS for Bitcoin have been, yep, the, I mean, there's a reason. Oh, that's funny. Ex exit. What do you want, Joe? You know, let me, let me do this. Let me go ahead and do this for Joe. He clearly wants something. Where is it? All right. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm going to do this. Y'all y'all going to think I'm crazy, but I am going to do this. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on. You can do it. Let's go coupons. And we're going to take a percentage off. We're going to take 40% off. And it's going to be... <laughs> And let's see, we'll leave it at 40. All right, so the code is pancakes and Bitcoin lowercase. I know you can't see that. All right, let's see, can I pump this up? Uh, let's see, can I? How big can I make this? Can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can see that. All right. So today's discount code is 40% off, and it is pancakes and Bitcoin. That's the day's coupon. <laughs> it is pancakes and Bitcoin. So if you want a course here at Hustlers Kung Fu, all of the links are under the video. Just go there, buy what you want, and use the discount code of pancakes and Bitcoin. You know I was going to do that, did you? Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see that really fine. All right. So, Rashida Hodge. Let's talk about this um, thing. Because I was thinking about it this weekend. You must alter your thinking to the point of get money. Because I kind of freak out when I have a, a balance on my credit card. I didn't used to be like that. I like paying my credit card off every week. And the mandate is make more money. I'll give you an example. Uh, last vehicle I bought is a BMW M. It's X5M. And I've looked at it and I looked at it and I looked at it for years. I don't like the brand new ones because they look kind of like space machines. And I got this model and I was like, how can I get that? But without disturbing all this other stuff that's going on. Because, you know, I got... A mortgage, I got obligations. So I was like, so we can't take money from this. So we got to create a new source of income for this. And that's how I look at everything. You cannot, because the average person thinks, what can I get rid of? How much can I save? What can I cut out? I don't think like that. I was like, you know, I don't even use those words. I use manage my money well with already coming in and add additional money. So I think that mindset of get more money is the key because if you are 40, 50, 60, and you condition yourself to get more money, to consistently get more money, that, you know, it's your first thought for everything. I want this, um, actually, I'll show it to you. Hmm. Let me see. This this could be kind of interesting. 
Let's see. All right. I don't know if this is going to work. It should work, but we will see. All right. Um, Mo. <laughs> So um, this is going to be kind of crazy. And all right, this is the house. Now, it's not going to be this house. I already looked at this house and it's not what I want, but I like the design and this house is two point two million dollars. So I said, OK, what can I do to get this house? Not, you know, rearrange my life, but what can I add? What can I build? What can I create to get this house? And it's 2.2 million. So the goal is to build my company within 30. Well, it's now about 33 months. So I'm making a million a month. So if I'm making a million a month, I can easily afford this $2.2 million house because that's a $12 million company. I would probably go ahead and pay a ton of taxes for one year and then come out of that and go back to building the company. But if I'm making $12 million a year, I spend $2.2 .2 on a house. That doesn't dilute my position. It's not overly stupid. And I have an asset that is paid for. And I will tell you that, uh, let me come out of this. All right. So just get rid of that. I would have an asset that, let me tell you, I'm planning on buying the house. The house would be in the LLC. It would be in a separate property LLC. And what I'll do is put my kid on there as an owner from day one. So buy the house. So I go ahead and take the kit, the, the, the dirt nap, and then I'll put in the uh, LLC that each year her percentage of ownership grows. So this is the way to get around the state and probate tax, right? And, you know, I'll put it something like, because uh, the thing is, if it's paid off and she can rent it, she can move into it, whatever, you know? So that that's kind of the plan. And, you know, going back to your question, oh, that's what happened there. Oh, well, that just uh, got rid of that. So, you know, going to, <clears throat> you, you can't think of it in age. Uh, I think <clears throat> the older you get, the more money you should make. But this is kind of what happens to a lot of people. They get old and then they want to kind of sit back and relax. So they want to make more money for doing less. And that just doesn't, it's just never going to work. And you find themselves, they find themselves in a very bad situation economically because they want to be paid what they're worth, but what they're worth in this economy, it goes down because unless they upgrade their skills, unless they keep, you know, certain things fresh and crispy, they're actually a depreciating asset. And that's how I look at myself. You know, if I don't do certain things, I'm a depreciating asset. Why should you pay me money? Why should you buy my courses? I got to keep them upgraded. I got to keep them fresh. I got to create more. I got to create more content. And I think that mindset, which, you know, a lot of people don't like to use, but I still think the mindset is applicable, is what keeps the money coming in. Uh, let's see. Rodney Steele, I feel like the investment corporations inflated the Bitcoin market to create a rush in the market, then pulled out. Rodney Steele, that's called classic manipulation and pump and dump, and I agree with you. What's up, Ben the Bartender? Sure thing, Joe. I mean, seriously, that's what I think happened. It's still happening. Melissa V, I bring a ton of dollar crap to the flea market, stack it deep. <laughs> and what does I sell? I give away at the end of the day. That's all I think about. All insane. But, 
you move in product. Uh, a good thing that Melvisa brought up is consistent cash flow. If you're always making cash, even if it's a little bit, you can have options. But if you have this period where you just go a week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks and you make no sales, no cash, guess what? It, it becomes a pucker moment. Broke folks investing in Bitcoin pretty much. This week, an old lawyer thought it was so nice. She offered me a store of antiques for free. Her tenant bailed on her and left the stuff in her store. You can get those deals. If someone was aspired to build a franchise like Todd McFarlane and J.K. Rowling, how would you suggest they leverage you to start creating content right now? And I'm going to tell you why I feel that is the thing that you should do is the law of unintended consequences. When I started this, I didn't, didn't think this all this was going to happen. I didn't even know. I had no clue. But because I built it, it gave me options. It gave me the ability to, all right, just for those of you who want to know, pancakes and Bitcoin is the code today. That's right. 40% off of anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. You can put pancakes and Bitcoin as your code, all lowercase. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to start clowning again because that, that I was looking at some of my older videos and definitely the comedy is not there the way that it used to be. We're going to change that. I kind of got into it with the, the Bitcoin. Um, let me show you. I, I, I just I'm in such a good mood today. I don't know why, but I, I really am. Uh, let's see. Let me, let's let's go here. I'm actually going to show it to you. I'm going to even let you listen to it. Well, actually, you can't listen to it because the speakers are out. But, um, hmm, how can we do that? Uh, you know, essentially, let's go here. There we go. All right. So I kind of get into it here. So at this point, I'm just talking about, do you feel that your money's on fire? I mean, I think Ben the bartender, he liked it. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's go and let's talk about building, um, you know, going to the question of someone leveraging. All right. Everyone starts here. Everyone starts with zero subscribers. Everyone starts with nothing. Uh, this channel, I'm going to have fun with it because I know the way that I want to build it is not the most successful way to build it. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but the most successful way to build a crypto channel is to be in the corner down here, have a screen with the crypto markets up to talk smack about other channels. And I'm talking about some of these guys are making... Um, 20, 200, 300, uh, one guy, he's making about literally a hundred grand a month. Serious. And it's because of the high CPM that his channel gets from the ads. But once again, how long is this going to last? Because once again, I see crypto the way it currently is as a fad. How many of you play Pokemon? That would be helpful. Seriously, how many of you were like playing Pokemon? You were going hard. You were going really, really hard. Now, crypto is radically different from Pokemon, but similar sentiments there, because this is my prediction. If Bitcoin and the rest of these altcoins bottom out to twenty five hundred and a lot of people, um, there was this one fool saying due to some Fibacci thing and math thing, it couldn't go below seventy nine hundred. It's currently at seventy six. And I'm like, there's so many people who are saying things that are just fundamentally not true because it's crazy. But, you know, going on to my larger point, if Bitcoin really crashes hard, like to twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars. And I know people are like, it can't happen. It just can't happen. It can happen because it's being manipulated. Um, 
I feel that the real players, the long-term investors, the guys who are trying to make you know long-term money, like to that will come back, and then we will push all this foolishness out of the market because cryptocurrency is not going to disappear. Uh, Bitcoin's not even going to disappear, but it's going to take a hard, hard hit to the chin. That's coming because um, the last this this year it's been really, really struggling. And historically, this is the first time that it's really struggled like this. And a lot of the Bitcoin um, bulls don't want to hear that. They just keep, you know, they, they don't even want to talk about it in, in realistic terms. But if you're starting a channel, you, you just start putting up content. And the thing is, and I, I really want you guys to listen to me. Stop thinking about that you're going to blow up in a few months. There are channels that blow up in a few months. But what I have seen over the years, as channels that blow up in a few months ultimately crash. Uh, the channels that take a long time to develop, they usually build an audience. They may never become super heated, super big, but they do seem to develop audience loyalty, which can be very, very popular, very profitable on YouTube. Oh, Mark Tim is big. Yes, yeah, short change. He's funny. Desiree Monique. Um, the real estate stuff, and I'm probably not going to make a course for it because that's outside my realm of expertise. I know a little bit about real estate. I've had some investment property, but. I, you know, honestly, by the time we get to talking about that, I think we're going to be in a recession, which would be a great time to buy. So my suggestion is for you right now is to stack your chips, make sure your credit straight and make more money and sit on it. Uh expect crypto how do i get a consult contact patty a few times over the past week uh that's not on patty that's on me because this is kind of one of the things that i'm going to do uh i don't know how i'm going to call it up because consults are like two grand so you know the way that i do it and i'm going to probably talk about that how later because uh depending on because that's some one of the things i gotta do i gotta set up this uh coaching thing and I got to set up the website and I got to set it up where the people at Hustle Camp don't get cheated and I, where I don't go like working crazy. Because if I go like, hey, you know, I'm doing this coaching thing, it's fifteen hundred bucks. Everyone in Hustle Camp has a shot. I'm going to be swamped. So I got to figure that out. But currently the consulting rates are two thousand dollars per hour. So if you want to do that. And I mean, I don't think too many people are going to jump on this. Hold on. Mac. Oh, bam. There it is. All right. All right. So. All right. So if you want to do this and I'm going to pump it up, I'm going to pump it up. You just send me because you'll be the only one that's doing this. So I'll, I'll know exactly who it is. Uh, let's see. Can you see it? Didn't pump up the URL, but I'll put it up here. You send me two grand there. I will talk to you no later than Wednesday. Just depending on my schedule because I got some stuff to do. But... Yep, that's how you can get in. All right, so let me come out of that screen. And I'm going to exit that. Exit that and just put this right here. So there you go. Uh, Desiree Monique Harris was better to have emails or phone numbers for marketing. All of the above. Here's the thing. Everything works if you work it. There is, you know, uh, phone numbers could possibly be better. Once again, it depends upon what you're selling. depends on your market. There's a lot of factors. There is no, um, 
Well, phones are automatically better than emails. Let's say you are emailing 50-year-olds. That could work. Let's say you're emailing 15-year-olds. That could fail miserably. I'm telling you this channel is part of my life. Awesome. Lance Brown, I would like to recommend the movie The Showman because it shows entrepreneur spirit. Okay. Sure thing, Rashida. Uh, Dexter, what's up? Desiree, so when I buy a house, I can put... No, well, this is the trick about the putting your house in the... You know, you can put in a limited partnership. You got to pay cash for it. Because their house is going to be in the name of whoever financing it. And typically, unless your corporation is aged, it has a lot of things going for it, you're not going to be able to finance a house in the name of your corporation unless it's making a lot of money. Uh, Dwayne, nope. You play Pokemon for seven years. The original, yeah, for Bonnie. And I was just listening, like, dude, this shit's coming. It's coming down. It's going down. And they were like, no, no. It's because of the Fibonacci mathematical equations, it can only go down to 7,900. And um, hold on. Let's see. It is currently. <laughs> Let's see. Did it go? Oh, look at that. <clears throat> uh, it is currently. $300 below the point that it could not go below. And on certain exchanges, it's even lower. Because the thing is, all the exchanges show a different pricing point for it. So, um, it, you know, because like I said, unless it gets to like 6500 I'm not posting anything else on uh, Facebook. I'm, I'm coming out of that. But if it goes to $6,500, i am going to have to clown. I'm just going to have to clown. Uh, let's see. Well, let's come out of that. Let's see. Yeah, I invested five hundred dollars in Bitcoin when it first came out. Woo. You're more than okay. You're more than okay. And I'm like, you don't have to sell anything unless you just want to take some of your gains off the table. What's up, Wild Jones Report? What's up, Tammy? CZ, micro investing in new spectrum, things like that is a very interesting topic. Telling you, I always go back and watch the old videos. Oh, that's coming back. That's coming back. Oh, no, I'm not giving out too many secrets to investing because a lot of people have to actually take action and they're not going to do that. So. Buying a house and put it into your company. Well, no, um, I would do something completely different. See. This is the thing that you can do, and this is what a lot of people don't talk about because they don't make any money. Do you know that you can get into a self-employed pension and put away 25%? Well, actually, let me check. What's the max you could put? Uh, limit. All right, I'm going to just put it right here for you. All right, so you could put up to 25% or up to 55. Oh, they did put a cap on it. So you could put up to $55,000 in 2018 in your retirement fund. Hmm. So let's say you had a real estate investment um, IRA. Now, 55 grand a year is a lot of money when you're talking about money that you're putting away for retirement. Because let's see, I am. 51, so if I retire to 65 and I'm not, but we go ahead to 14 years, that's almost just 
that's almost a million dollars principal. And not even counting the gains. That's just a million dollars principal. Um, and that's just one of the things you can do. So, you can put a lot of money in the SEP. A lot of money. A whole bunch of money. What's up, Al Gordon? Conjure the one that the old auction story about the man, the old folks home was once a swinger. That was funny. Desiree, I have good business and personal credit. Just need something to invest in. Um, you know, if you can pay, because the thing is, I'm going to tell you, um, unless your business is showing re tax returns of three years minimum, they're not going to let you buy a house. So if you got all that, yeah, you can. So there's a lot of ways you can do that. But uh, my, my goal in 33 months is to get this business up to a million a month, buy that house, pay cash for it, and put it in a property LLC. Now, the thing is, what I would do, because I wouldn't put multiple properties in one LLC. That's insane because you're putting in a lot of risk into one LLC because if something happens at one property and someone gets smart and checks out your LLC, like they sue you, they can make the whole house tumble down. And this is why, you know, I'm going to create this program. Uh, it's going to be an active coaching program where I get on the phone and do certain things. And I know it's going to probably be done for you service while I'll be creating LLCs. Um, Someone that mentioned I should do this, and it was just kind of funny how this has just presented itself. But that will come this week. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. Uh, what's the SEP? This is what a SEP is. I'm going to... There it is. Um, make it as big as I can. View it. There we go. So just go there. Check it out. See what you can do with it. I mean, if you're a business owner and Let's say you made two hundred grand that you wanted to um, file taxes on. You can take fifty five grand, which is twenty five percent, off the top. Then you have your deductions and stuff. And you know, thanks to the new Trump tax plan, you get a fourteen percent raise. I mean, this drastically reduces your tax. I mean, drastically reduces your taxes. And the first rule of building wealth is never lose money. That's the, that's the number one rule of wealth. Never lose money. If you could never lose money, you would get everyone would get rich, but you know you lose money through taxes. You lose money through fees. You lose money. Oh, there's so many ways that you lose money. But that's, that's a SEP. I put it up there so you can go to the Internal Revenue Service and research that and get down to it. Uh, kind of have a time management course, but, uh, let's see what time is it? It's nine twenty eight. So what I'm going to do is go to the lab. I, I got a lot of stuff to do, so I don't know if this is going to happen, but, um, let me work on that. I'll take your comments in. Oh, I mean, the, 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 the whole thing is cause like, I'm also thinking about doing a, a channel called investments for business owners which would be very small because so much hype is out here. And you have these people, it's like, oh, I make $2 million a month. I make $4 million a month and all this other stuff. But you notice they never really talk about the investment or the internal revenue service angle. Never talk about that stuff because uh, one of the things that I know, and I got a friend who owns a car wash. Not don't, Actually, I have a few friends who own a car wash. And he takes a lot of cash. Now, the Internal Revenue Service has an audit where they count your water usage. <laughs> so 
So based upon how much water that you're using, they can accurately get to where, I mean, they, they have this audit for laundry mats. They have this, anything that's a heavy cash business. Because if you're using X amount of water, you should be making X amount of dollars based upon your current pricing. It gets deep. It gets really, really deep. Um, with the upscale garage sale, I had, I had that problem. There was no, nothing they can base anything on. Not to mention it was kind of like an illegal business and didn't really technically exist. So um, we'll get more into that into disruptive uh, tax layer. Yeah, we'll get into that in tax layer this week. Um, got a lot of stuff to discuss. I got a lot of stuff to set up. I got to talk to Valencia when she comes in today. Um, maybe we'll be doing the podcast together. I don't know. But she's got a good voice. So and she's got a good personality. I don't know about that. But it could go a certain way because um, the podcast is new and you can really go. Because like I'm telling you, doing the media company, doing YouTube channels, doing podcasts, uh, audio books, courses, it is the future. And it's more profitable than cryptocurrency. And that's one of the things that I was trying to explain to some people. And they were just like, he's crazy. He's crazy. It's like, I make more money. Because let me show you something that I put on my Facebook page. And I'm going to bounce in a minute. Let's see. All right. So I had some trolls coming after me, man. They were coming after me hot and heavy. Uh, This dude right here, he actually agrees with me. (laughs) <laughs> he has the same position that I do on cryptocurrency. But uh, yesterday, I was working on some stuff. And, you know, I was testing out mics and all this other stuff. And this is a good one, saving my passive income for retirement. Because I was doing an audit of my media empire. And I was like... This was 2016 YouTube. This was 2017. I'm going to change that. And uh, that's my passive income last year. 106000 And I didn't include the other PayPal account, but maybe twelve. I don't know. I don't know. But I felt this was enough. But that was passive income last year. And if I was to save my passive income and just put that into real estate every year, that would be very nice. It'd be really really nice because now, um, you know, as you know, I really don't do like the consultant the last year was sick. It was really, really sick in income wise, but it also burnt me out, but I'm trying to create a happy balance here. But uh, yeah, because now this was my passive source of income. Now it's become my main source of income. So I got to pump it up. But, you know, that's just some of the stuff that I will be talking about, because if you let go of the notion of making a lot of money for little or nothing, which is called rent seeking. Let's talk about that real quick. Uh, And I've talked about this in other ways. But rent seeking which is essentially trying to get money for doing nothing. And one example is say you owned, oh, I need to zoom in. Here we go. So you can see it. Rent seeking in economics and in public choice theory, rent seeking involves seeking to increase one's shares of existing wealth without creating new wealth. Rent-seeking results in reduced economic efficiency through poor allocation of resources, reduced actual wealth creation, lost government revenue, increased income inequity, and potentially national decline. Now, I've talked about this. You know, I've always said, you want to make money, serve your fellow man. Create products and services that serve your fellow man. That's been the core creed here for years, right? Uh, what, you know, give you a classic example example of what rent seeking is say you have a piece of land and there's a river that is part of the rivers on your land so that includes in your land right 
but this river is a source of a, it's a road to getting to certain ports. So one day you're like, hey, I have the bright idea that you're going to put a fence across the river and then someone to collect tolls. You've done nothing to increase value. You're actually sucking value out of the economy. And it seems smart, but you're actually making money for not creating wealth, for not creating efficiency. And here and there, that's not such a big deal. But we can't have more Ubers. Uh, we can't have more Airbnbs. We can't have more Facebooks. To a degree, Facebook does a little rent seeking because they, they well, actually, they, this, Facebook's pimping us. Airbnb is pimping uh, the folks who rent those homes, but they do get money. But you're not going to be able to have these large, multi-billion dollar corporations with these very small staffs perpetually. At some point, it's going to reach a tipping point because let's say you, you have all, you know, you have these like 300 corporations that have 90 percent of the world's wealth. That's just not going to work. It'd be anarchy. There'll be people living up in space on the space ring and all those poor people be living down here on the planet. I mean, seriously. So you just can't keep pulling money out of the economy without putting money back into creating more value. Where you cause a lot of problems, a lot of problems. So. Uh, let's see. Al Gordon. Got a restaurant here in L.A., super slow and not sure on how to market these days. Yep, got us by the balls. You don't market with them. You don't show up on searches. Pretty much. Don Ziles, Derek, what do you know on taxes for buying storage units to sell their contents? Well, as an American citizen, you got to pay taxes on any income. So that's what I know. Nod your boy. Came in late. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's, I wish I could play some funky music. All right. For those of you who are interested in getting a course today at 40% off the password, the discount code is pancakes in Bitcoin. Yes, that's pancakes in Bitcoin. Just go ahead and grab that and you can get your course for 40% off. <laughs> oh, I, I so love the chat room. You just don't, you just, you guys just don't know. Uh, I have books. How do you do audiobooks? Do you recommend someone? Desiree, you're Desiree. You got to get really clear about one thing that you want to do. You're all over the place. Uh, Joshua, who do you think Trump will blame for the next recession? He's going to blame Obama. Come on, man. You know that. All right, so once again, let's just kind of go through this wonderful bean footage. That is the discount code, Pancakes and Bitcoin. And then, let's see. Well, would help if I actually, oh man, that's kind of big. Oh, uh, let's see. Actual size. There we go. And let's see courses. All right. So you got that one. Uh, I am going to do it this week. I know that I put out here because it's sitting here on this yellow pad screaming at me. Uh, give tax slayers big ass discount on fat cat secrets. It's staring me in the face. I'm going to do that this week. And I'm going to come out with some more stuff. Uh, tax slayers. Good. And what else I have up here? Because I, I got to rearrange for this. And I will tell you. That uh, this is kind of going to be the best thing because I'm, I'm months away from raising the price. Uh, my goal is to get a full fledged Hustlers University for about 10K. 
So I'm about three or four months away from that. Got to get busy. Got to get busy. But, yeah, you could uh, use your 40% off on that if you so desire. And you know what I'll do? I'll do this for this for the day only. Today is February 5th. Anybody that buys Hustle Camp and pays in full, I'll give you a consultation for free. It's in the video. I'm, so for the people who want to talk to me and get maximum value, go for it. All right. So Tax Slayer, I'll be working on that this week. And this is probably the best bundle I have. So there you go. That's it. All right. Uh, I will be back at 6 p.m. today with some more good news. And we'll have a lot of fun. So uh, 6 p.m. today, I'll be back. And I will catch you guys later. Let me see what's in the chat room before I bounce. James Alexander, how do you feel about Steam It? I just signed up and got approved today. That's how I feel about it. Uh, Desiree, you got to get one main source of income nailed down before you get into multiple. Okay, Stefan, Quinn. Oh, that was a good game. That was a good game. All right, I will see you folks at 6 p.m. today. Peace, love, and hair grease. These streams are about to get outrageously funny. I'm just letting you know that. So there. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to use your 40% off discount code. Pancakes and Bitcoin to get a course today. And uh, I'll talk to you guys at 6 p.m.